Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This side Rahul Magan here as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP. And today we are going to cover a very, de a very dedicated video on our topic which is Reverse Carry, Rising UST and 10 Year GSEC. Bracket Indian Rupee. As you very well know that Trump has led to subsequent effect on the interest rates also across the globe. So in this we are assuming three, three players, player one is the Federal Reserve, player number two is Donald Trump and player number three is the Reserve Bank of India. Now first start with, start with the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve, the Federal Fund Rate is currently trading at 0.5% and there is a big pressure on Jalit Yellen to increase the interest rate, politically and non-politically. Why I am saying politically, if she don't rise in interest rate, there is no, I seriously, I seriously give 0% probability that Donald Trump will not remove him. Donald Trump will surely remove her if she will not rise the interest rate. Because Donald Trump is seriously in the favor of rising interest rate. And he thinks that Federal Reserve to rise interest rate subsequently number of times in the in year 2017. The testimony Yellen did few days ago on Bloomberg TV, so in, in, uh, in Capitol Hill, the building of Federal Reserve, she clearly said that, that the, the electorate of the Trump has not changed the stance of the Federal Reserve. So Federal Reserve in any ways is not going to be under the pressure of the Donald Trump for that. But only the time will tell how correct the situation is. But in my personal view that Federal Reserve will seriously rise in interest rate. And if I go as per the Bloomberg TV, if I go as per the Bloomberg, the poll conducted by the Bloomberg TV, that there is a 95% probability that by December 2016 meeting, that the Federal Reserve is going to rise in interest rates. And there is going to be approximately 98% probability that in the January 2017, they are going to be rise by uh, interest rate. According to the same poll conducted, that in year 2017, you know, the US will rise interest rate three times. So if I go with this poll, then you have an interest rate of 0.5% of 25 basis point each. So this is going to be 0 0.75, which is 0 0.25 into 3. So total would be 1.25%. Number one, the overnight rate of the US will grow by 1.25%. Another worry for India is that a UST, which is a 10 year UST, I write here under Donald Trump, which is 10 year United States Treasury is trading at 2.33%, which is very high. The 10-year UST is having a coupon of approximately 2% with the yield of 2.33%, which is much higher, even much higher than Australia in dollar terms. In dollar terms. I think the only competitive two economies who can give challenge to that, but they are not triple A economies, is number one is Indonesia, which is 7.8%, and another is Brazil which is roughly 17.5%. But again, we are not going to consider both Indonesia and Brazil and at least Brazil because they are not a triple, triple A rated economy. In that regards, the rising UST is a threat to Indian rupee. Why the threat? Because if I am an investor, a foreign institution investor, and I am supposed to invest my money, why should I invest my money in India? Because of the following reasons. India is having repo rate of 6.25% and a reverse repo rate of 5.75%. It means the interest rate corridor, which is repo minus reverse repo of 50 bits and MSF of 6.75%. We all know that, we all know that Urjit Patel is more of a dovish than a hawkish person. We all know that Raghuram Rajan and both Mr. Subarao, they are more hawkish than Dobbit person. I hope you read the book of the Subarao, which is uh, Who Moved My Interest Rate. I recommend this book to all people who are watching this, a beautiful book to read. Now, in this, if Urjit Patel will go as per the direction of the finance ministry, and he would further reduce interest rate by 1% in the year 2017, which would surely happen. Because in the January when Reserve Bank will meet, I'm sure that uh, it might be because of the demonetization, they might not reduce in January, but I know that in 2017, they are going to reduce the repo rate by 1%. So ultimately, repo would reduce to 5.25%. So an investor who was getting few years ago, 
who was getting 8.75%, now this particular person is getting 5.25%, which means the delta of more than 3%. And similarly, if he, he look at his country, the yield he is getting is 2.33%, which is very high. Believe me, this is very high. If Donald Trump, who believes to be a real estate investor, his total empire is roughly three, three and a half billion dollars. If he continue to invest in the real estate, and we know that Australian dollar is going very high, Australian dollar is moving up. There is a lot of speculation which is happening in the commodity currencies also. And the subsequent impact of the same, we have saw on both direct spare, and indirect pairs we know that in the last few trading sessions philippines peso is trading roughly 49.76 and indian rupee moved to 68.13 if this would happen and chinese yuan also is cny is now 6.88 if this would continue to happen then i'm sure then i'm sure of the fact that indian rupee will face a reverse carry and especially when when sitting today 10 year Indian GSEC, which is known as a benchmark in India, is trading at 6.88%. Now, if today you are trading at 6.88% and, and uh, your repo rate is 6.25%, what would happen if this repo rate would reduce by another 1%, you would reduce to 5.88%, roughly 5.9%. Roughly now, an investor will go here or he will go to Indonesia or he will look at here and and as per the discussion which is happening or in the international media that US UST might rise to three and a half percent in the near term. It sounds scary. Three and a half percent sounds very scary. But if this would happen, then India entire money which is coming to India will go to US. Or a phenomena would happen which is today money coming from developed economies to emerging economy which is known as yield quest but if UST yield will rise to 3.5 percent which is surely a fact then it would be reverse money will move to from emerging economies to developed economy which is reverse yield quest This sounds scary, but this is what something which is happening. And I think that uh, Indian rupee will move to 68.50 in the near term. <coughs> Sorry. We expect that by December, Indian rupee will uh, shift to roughly 68.60. We advise Indian exporters to stay silent. Target 68.50. Don't be in a panic situation. You will get a good rate. At the same time, we also advise Indian, Indian importers. Don't be panic. Hold. Stay cool. You will get a good rate. Don't, but don't expect that it will further down to 66. No, it won't happen. You should go to 66. Uh, you should target 67, 80 if you get this, but the probability is very rare in that regards, rather than the, uh, rather than the probability is very high. And so, uh, and also we request Indian exporters as well as Indian importers to use options. Had they used options, they would win the game. Like in the case of Philippines Piso, Indian IT industry is having a very substantial, roughly 30% exposure in Philippines. And majority of the hedging is done in the, in the form of the forward contract. Now, Philippines Piso is depreciating. They are losing the game. Now, what is the point of that hedging? If I'm scheduled to lose, what is the point of that hedging? Hedging is not a cost center. Hedging is a profit center. If any corporate treasurer who is listening to us and believe that hedging is a cost center, no, it is a profit center. As simple as that. You should not have using a forward contract. I think the days of the forward contract are gone. Now we are in the options. And another thing we need to decide whether we go for options or we, we, we should go, we are, we are going for option strategies like range forwards, exporters, range forwards, importers, seagull, seagull exporters, seagull importers, call spread, put spread and others. So that's something which we need to decide. So this was all about today and Treasury Consulting LLP will strongly believe that Indian rupee is heading towards reverse carry. And if RBI will reduce the repo rate by another 1% in the near term, which would surely happen in 2017, then you just need to count the days. You just need to count the days and the prediction of the Indian rupee turned 72 will turn true. The prediction of the Indian rupee to turn 72 would turn true. This was for the day. And we are, you are most welcome to contact us 9899242978. My alternate, uh, my email ID is uh, rahul.magan at the rate treasuryconsulting.in. 
you are welcome to visit our website www.treasuryconsulting.in. We are also very pleased to share that uh, in association with our webinar partner which is with IQ, we launched several online courses and these online courses are very much on sale now. We have uh, courses on derivatives, foreign exchange, fixed income, technical analysis, fraud, forensics, analytics, Basel 3, anti-money laundering, variety of courses. You are welcome to go and choose the course. We are coming up with a content library very soon. In this content library, uh, we would be launching a lot of things in the, uh, uh, with, with respect to VizIQ. And in case you wish to join this course, our email ID is not very far, rahul.magan at the rate We thank you very much and uh, have a great day ahead.